Cameras have become a large part of our culture. Whether they're cameras on a phone, on a computer, or a DSLR, like the one I have in my hand right now, cameras are likely recognized by almost every American citizen. And as we continue to build onto the technology and the gadgets that we're able to give the public, our ideas of art and of photography have also begun to shift. What technologies do you think have changed the way we view and perceive photos? Smartphones, definitely. Um, one, because they provide like social media, for example. Um, there's Visco, there's Instagram. You can take bursts with them. It's a lot easier to adjust your lighting, and I think it makes it more accessible for a lot of people and more approachable. A lot of people have access to the internet, um, and if you're posting on the internet, the, the wider audience can see it. Um, and I think it's engaged different communities. And then social media is a great way to spread photography, and I believe that the use of social media has made photography a lot more popular in recent years. When I like when I do follow like National Geographic um, photographers, they do have a story to tell, and even if the uh, picture is like oh the same landscape that five hundred like five hundred other people have um, photographed, um, they have a story, and I think that's kind of the most important part. A lot of my peers at school do use Instagram. Well, I've noticed that a lot of photographers who base themselves on Instagram or the internet have relatively the same kind of style or filter that they put on their photos or the same kind of photos seem to be trending like if you follow photographers like Brandon Wolfel. Brandon Wolfel, an Instagram photographer celebrity, has 2.9 million followers and hundreds of fan pages on the site. His staple of fairy lights and colorful tones even earned him a spot as an ambassador for Nikon. Photographers that kind of follow the social media trends are the ones who are more likely to probably get noticed by people who could raise their audience, like social media influencers. It's just making everything more general. There's not anything that's tailored to like one specific area. Now there's so many types of photography. And a lot of the models kind of look the same too. Not to harp on people, but it's sort of the same image over and over and over again. Instagram has faced backlash for how it creates unrealistic beauty expectations through peer pressure and photo manipulation. However, the negative effects of photo manipulation have plagued areas other than just the social media site. They used a picture that was taken during the day and they used it during their news show. The only thing is they photoshopped the picture and they removed a, wor a word in it fake profiles that purported to show the applicants participating as student-athletes. Those profiles often included photoshopped images of the applicants' faces pasted onto other athletes' bodies. I'll Photoshop, you can touch on that. <laughs> it allows people to branch out from what they're more comfortable with, which is like a raw photo. It allows them to experiment with different techniques or different aspects of it. I think it kind of devalues like um, professional photographers. It's it's cool to have that sort of artistic sort of sense that you can create a world, but when they are saying, oh, this is real, it's stupid and... And as technology changes, so do our ideas of art. As, like, photography evolves, I think it's certainly changing, so I think art is changing and photography in that sense. Um, and so we always go through, like, different phases and different, like, um, techniques and just, like, what, like, the art community is looking for. Portrait photography right now I think is very popular, more than nature photography is. I think that's also partially due to social media. <laughs> I think it would be beneficial if photographers, even ones who base themselves off social media, would branch out and kind of try some different styles because that's how we got here in the first place.